Here is our last exponential base rule. It is a chain rule when the base is not necessarily e. So for any exponential base, what would you do? So if you have a base that's not e being raised to a power that's more than just x, that's how you know you have to use this rule. You'll see once you start practicing derivatives, it is hard to know which rule to use. So you have to just pay attention to the original function you're starting with, and it will come more and more naturally how to take the derivative. Remember, this base has to be bigger than zero. They're always positive bases for exponential functions. When you take the derivative, it's kind of like a combination of rule six and seven. When your power has more than an x in it, you're gonna start by taking the derivative of your power. Since your base is not e, you need ln of your base. And then like all exponential derivatives, you get credit for just copying down the original a to the original power. So I said it's a lot like rule six and rule seven. Let's review those off to the side here. Just because we're learning a lot really fast, we might not have those down. Rule six says if you have a power that's more than just an x for base e. When you take the derivative of it, if you have e to the x cubed, if you take the derivative of it, you have to take the derivative of the power times e to the original power. That was rule six. Rule seven said if you change your base, maybe um, like a nine to the x, the derivative is ln of nine times nine to the x. Okay, now we're combining these rules here. Looking at this five, it's being raised to the 10x minus four. So it's like rule seven because the base is not e, and it's like rule six because the power is not just x. So we're gonna start, really overwhelming, but we're just gonna start and say, hey, the power is not just an x, so let's take the derivative of that. So derivative of 10x is 10, that was our mini rule. Derivative of negative four is zero, it's a constant. So we start with the derivative of the power just like we do on rule six. But then rule seven says if your base is not e, remember to take ln of your base. So we made it like rule seven. And then the last part of all exponentials is it has the answer having the original question in it. Five to the 10x minus four. So our longest rule of these 10 basic derivatives for sure, if you have some of them down but not this one, that's completely understandable. Let's try it again though. We have nine as our base and we have x cubed plus x. So we have more than just x in the power, so I'm gonna start by focusing on that. So taking the derivative of x cubed is three x squared. Derivative of one x is one. I'm gonna put parentheses on this because the derivative has more than one term. We learned that in rule six. So we took the derivative of the power, just like we do for any exponential base. We realize our base is not e, so we need ln of our base just like rule seven, and then like all exponentials, copy down the original function. So derivative of the power, ln of your base, base to the original power. You can pause this video and try this last one. Take the derivative of the power, ln of your base, base to the original power. See if you have all three of these pieces. So starting with the derivative of the power, derivative of x squared is two x, derivative of negative five x is negative five, that's our mini rule, so we brought down the power, subtract one for the new power, derivative of negative five x is negative five, and derivative of a constant, a regular nine with no x on it, is zero. So there's the derivative of the power, ln of my base, base to the original power. Longest of our basic derivative rules, but we've got it now. Derivative of the power, ln of your base, base to the original power.